welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sierra and today I'm going to be talking about St. Thorlock of Iceland. So I really wanted to do a YouTube video talking about uh, St. Thorlock because it seems like there's a lot of written resources about him out there because um, they're talking about making him the patron saint of autism, but there's not a lot of videos and I think that that needs to change. So, uh, talking about St. Thorlock of Iceland, he is the second of the two saints that were born in Iceland. So, St. Thorlock was born in 1133 in Flotchilp, Iceland. Uh, that's in the southern part of Iceland, uh, about uh, 50 minutes away from Selfoss and an hour and 40 minutes away from Reykjavik, the capital. Flotchilp is actually really close to Eyjafjallajökull, which is the uh, Icelandic volcano which erupted in 2010. You may remember it uh, stopped airline travel throughout Europe for a few days because of how much ash was up in the atmosphere. And St. Thorlock was actually really smart as a kid. He knew how to read and he had taught himself how to read in a time when not many adults even knew how to read. Uh, they said that some adults would actually go up to him and ask him questions, even as a child. So whenever his parents, who were fishermen, had a rough season and they couldn't take care of him or his two sisters anymore, they dropped them off at a farm in Odi, Iceland, uh, which was a major center of education and had a church since as long as Iceland has been Christianized, which was around 999 AD. To a thousand eight. They had Catholic churches there, and uh, since the official Lutheranization of Iceland, they've had a Lutheran church there. St. Thorlock became a deacon when he was just 15 years old, and he was ordained as a priest when he was 18. In 1168, when he was around 30 years old, he opened up an abbot on a piece of land that he inherited, and there he taught the other men who he worked with how to be more strict and rigid in their prayers and practices. He also was opposed to ordained priests getting married. So St. Thorlock refused to marry, which there was a rich widow who someone suggested he get married to and he refused to because he truly believed in celibacy in the ordained. So he worked to abolish the sale of relics within the church. Um, and he also was working to uh, rid the ordained priests of their practices of non-celibacy. Around that time, he also became the Bishop of Skalholt, uh, one of the two dioceses in Iceland, which was a really big honor for him. He was actually set to retire after working in the abbot for a long time, but before he could do so, he passed away. Once again, he was one of two Icelandic saints. Uh, he was canonized in 1984 by Pope John Paul II. He was one of two Icelandic saints. Uh, he was the latter one to be canonized. Uh, Jan Ogmundsson was canonized around 1200 AD, but St. Thorvald was canonized actually in 1984, hundreds and hundreds of years after his death by Pope John Paul II. Uh, he was ordained in 1194, five years after his death, in Iceland, but it took a little bit longer for the Vatican to catch on just because of how remote Iceland is and how uh, non-populous it is. St. Thorlock's feast day is on December 23rd. For Icelanders, it's the last day before Christmas and they often clean up and make his uh, traditional uh, food, which is a sort of fish dish with mashed potatoes boiled potatoes. So that's all I have to say about St. Thorlock. Uh, he was a really passionate guy. He really got stuff done in Iceland. He's a really important figure in Icelandic Catholicism and he just was a really wonderful guy. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to hear more about other saints, please uh, say it in the comments down below um, and I'll work on doing some research into them. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, be sure to follow for more content about Catholic Saints.